Hey guys, today I received this Babashi leather journal wallet in the mail and I just thought we would open it up together so we can see what it's really like. So this is what it came packaged in and it was shipped in one of the Amazon uh, padded envelopes and then this was on it inside of that. And I noticed something and I want to point this out because if you're familiar with leather, you know that no leather should be stored and sealed in a plastic bag, yet they want to protect it on the way here. So I appreciate the fact that air holes were put in the bag to allow the leather to breathe because when you don't and it's stored in just plastic, it can cause it to dry out. So that was impressive. Just these little things that count. All right, what have we got here? All right, this is supposed to be a travel journal and wallet. And it's supposed to be small enough that you can carry it with you, but large enough that you can write on it and see what you've written. It is made out of solid leather. So this is cowhide and it's vegetable oil dye tanning process, which is really great because this is what antiques really well. So if you like things that just have the scratches on it and show your adventurous, well-traveled life, this is definitely the finish that you want to get. You can see it'll scratch and get the marks on it. But if you don't like them, you can actually rub them out because the oil dye redistributes that oil back into the little scratches. So this is a great finish though. Like I said, it'll weather really, really well. The oil dye also helps protect it from the elements. So we've got this and let me, let me see here. It does have the little Pabashi uh, stamp on it. Snap, a pen was included. Let's see if we can, it looks like a decent pen too that I'm not going to be able to get out of the plastic here in front of you so I'm not going to fumble around with it and look stupid. It snaps shut and we have this front section here for cards. Look at this. This is a full grain hide. I mean it's very, it's thick. It's not just like the thin top layer bonded onto something else or bonded onto plastic. So I mean this is something that you would have for years and could actually pass down. We've got two front pockets, which are very generous, and they're not tight. So, I mean, I imagine you could get quite a few cards in each of those. And then there's a larger one. And then again, here's this side. It includes a craft paper. So this isn't just like the regular old cheap paper. This is just like a vintage looking, very vintage looking craft paper. That's really fancy. And they do sell more of these. So this is replaceable for once you fill it up. But these are fantastic for travel because you can make notes, you can put down the addresses in it. I mean, there's all kinds of things you can do and I know that everybody does that with their cell phone these days, but sometimes it's nice to have a record like this. Something that you can pass down and leave to your kids or your grandkids, you know? And sometimes it's just nice having things the old fashioned way and, and dealing with the paper. Let's look at this. This is very impressive. I mean, it's really solid, yet it's really, really soft. The stitching is nylon, so it's nice and strong. It's going to be able to really take and weather very well for you. It has a snap closure, not a Velcro closure. Size-wise, If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll get back with you on it. I'll also include a link for where you can get this on Amazon. Thank you.